you'll have a clear understanding of what he's talking about tomorrow night at the webinar. Mike, let me ask you a question. Lost, just as, uh, we'll come back to this because I, 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 I've got more questions. But I want to jump over here to Vegas because we had this insane, well, we had what looked like meteorites going across the sky in Vegas. They were right. green. They call 911. The, the, the police show up. They got the body cams on in the backyard. The, the, the people was trying to tell them that there was two entities, eight, nine, or ten foot tall. And while the police are there, these green meteorites go by again. Okay. Uh, you can't do it twice. So, you know, and then you got about nine different people saying that they saw these two entities, big eyes, big mouth, eight foot, nine foot, maybe 10 foot tall. Uh, and, and these people are absolutely are sticking to that story. They are not changing their mind. Mike, what's going on? Did they see something? Did something happen? Well, you sure you want to open that one up? Let's open it. Let's open it, Mike. Let's open it tonight. Okay, first of all, if anybody sees, I, I, this is my personal advisement, if anybody sees uh, some sort of greenish turquoise uh, object falling, do not go and investigate it. Don't do that. Um, okay. People are going to find out that, that that can actually harm people. Number two, these I feel my heart goes out to that whole family. It does. My heart goes out to that family. They put the... Um, the video evidence is right in front of people's faces, and they have the tool to see what they need to see, right? Yep. Um, there's four people were injured. They were. Mm. Uh, there are four people or three people who are sick, radiation poisoning. And uh, what? The ground was highly contaminated. Uh, and th those beings, right? Those yeah. beings were right there in front of everybody, but things are normally in plain sight. And believe me, their their behavior and posture and everything is just like it is. These these things look like big headed elephant people. Is what they look like. That's Whoa! Exactly what they look like. Um, and if everybody would, if, if people would, they want to analyze that footage. You analyze when they start backing up, when they go into the backyard and start backing up. There are two entities. One is by the fence, right? Because there's a hand. When the people walk in the backyard, right at that fence, there's a hand. That withdraws from the. I organ. saw that. I that. saw that. But yes. that's a that's a big hand. And if you do the uh, computer analysis and look at the dimensions of that hand, you see it clearly. Um, by the way, that same footage was taken on more than one device. More okay. Than one device. Okay. And every single device shows the exact same thing from different angles. Um, the second entity is behind the tractor. Okay. And it stands about one, two, three, about three feet above the tractor. And you, you can see the head of it. The head of that uh, being, right, is about as big as a cab of the tractor and it's standing right behind it. And so that's a that's that's generally what people would see. That is legitimately what people would see. Um, hopefully people are not confused about where they're coming from and what these things are. These things are ancient. Okay. They're now, ancient. If, okay. When you say this is what people would see, are you referring to yeah. Nephilim? Are we talking about the fallen ones? Uh, That's precisely what they are. That's, I, You know, I hate to spoil everybody's uh, grand illusion of these things being peaceful, right? You don't fall out of the heavens at nighttime, hide behind tractors um, if you are, you know, some nice guy. Right. No. Yeah, it's not what you do. Uh, secondly, they put out they put everything in front of people's faces. So there's a term they call them interdimensional beings. Right. Yeah. All right. In the paperwork, that's what they rename demons to interdimensional beings to bring them into this technological age. They no longer use that name demon. They use interdimensional entities or beings. So there you are. So they're cloaking the, the, with the terminology. Uh, sure they are. We're, we're, so, so pe just like extraterrestrial, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what they call you know what they call the Arctic, the Ar that name Arctic stands for something. I, 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 the name stands for something. The location stands for something. And basically, it's it it means extra or external land, right? New land. Okay. Uh, so not as in not connected to this land. Um, some of these things, and it doesn't matter if they come from a another solar system or whatever the deal is angels are not born on earth so that makes them what extraterrestrial right correct? absolutely and you have fallen angels they're not born on earth either 
So no. they're extraterrestrial. Well, in this case, they call them interdimensional beings. So uh, there you are. So and you're confirming. Say, oh, there's going to be a lot more than that. But I'm telling you, if you see those, uh, if, whenever you see those greenish balls coming into the atmosphere. Yeah. I know people love NASA and JP. I know they trust them with all their heart. I do not. You see those things falling out of space. Um, don't go investigate. Don't do that to yourselves. Just um, leave it be. Because normally, Pastor Paul, these things, um, they, they are masters. Remember, uh, creation, they know all about creation, right? So they know how to manipulate things, right? So right. if you see a small orb two inches big, right, in the spiritual realm of what we call the spiritual realm, there's no time. Because there's no time, you have a compression uh, a series of compression technologies that two inch orb could actually weigh about a billion tons. It could actually be a ship the size of a neighborhood. So you don't know. It's more like a window, Wait, right? Are you serious? I and, mean, yeah. You know, when people see these things coming in, normally they'll see maybe some solid object, a representation of a solid object without the explosion. And then they will hit the ground, but there'll be no explosion. It'll just be a big plume of light, and then nobody can find anything. Well, then that's what you're seeing. UFOs, they, they wink in and out of existence. They can go into water. They do not make a splash, right? So what does that tell you? If they don't make a splash when they hit the water, what does that tell you? Well, they're not in our that, dimension. They have to be in a different... That's right. That means they know all about our dimension. They yeah. know about their dimension, right? So, right. so you're, you're looking at demonic entities and you have individuals who went to the White House are trying to make people believe that these things are uh, friendly, right? no. that they're helpers. No, that's what they're doing. So that and is that part of the dis of, is that part of the disclosure is to is to convince the populace that these entities, these demonic entities or interdimensional beings or that they're calling them. Are some are friendly? They're benevolent. Uh, they're, they're here to help us. There might even be we might even be their, the offspring of them. I mean, I've heard this kind of stuff. Same the same message they gave in Babylon. Same message they gave in ancient Sumer. Right? It's the same lie of Satan himself. It's the same lie. And unfortunately, you have a lot of Christians who you put a lot of technical terminology behind it. They've fallen in love with the story. Right. Yeah. And now that the reality is coming, I, I tell you what people are going to say was well, Project Blue Beam or something like that. They're going to believe that people are going to die. They're going to die. dead. They're, they're going to have diseases. These things are you just can't hang around these things. This right? is not Project you're gonna, Blue Beam. You're going to be sick. No, it's not. And that's going to be part of the part of the catch here. The fallen are returning. They're going to return by the droves. They're going to come topside and be all over the place. Humanity is essentially going to give them authorization because all they have to do is sit there and not say anything, present themselves as some, you know, nice being. And people will say, oh, I want to learn more about you. Well, a, a person does not know that is granting them authority to operate in this dimension. They don't have authority by everybody. But if they trick and fool most of the population, people will grant them authority. God gave man authority. Over right. The earth, right. Not them. They don't have authority. We do. Right. God gave us power over all. You know, we can tread upon scorpions and serpents and nothing will by any means hurt us. And we have all power over the enemy. But if we allow these things to operate by having a desire for them desire is a door these things are going to come in and start exercising and and indeed enforcing what they need to enforce and so what do we have in the bible we have a beast system that pops up how does it pop up even in the bible it says that day is not going to come unless you'll come a falling way first and that man of perdition be revealed because Satan can't operate in the presence of the Holy Ghost. No, he can't do that. No. And he has no authority there. So when people fall away, when they start giving up on their faith, when their when their go to person is not Christ, but some man in the earth or something like that, they're giving up their authority to somebody else. We, right? but we were they're, given a we, Yeah. God gave man dominion over the earth. We've never we've never surrendered that. We shouldn't surrender that. We have dominion. Satan doesn't have dominion on the earth. We, we, maybe we allow him to operate and these demons to run free, but we actually were given dominion by God. So let me ask you, did CERN, has CERN, does it play any part in the releasing of, this, of these interdimensional beings, these demons? Well, yeah, people are going to learn something about CERN. I believe uh, 
either this month or next month. Uh, CERN, th- there's been there have been some hiccups in geology as far as location goes, and uh, you got to remember, it was the UN General Assembly who put together the Middle East back in the uh, uh, 20s, 30s, and 40s. Yeah, right? that's true. So they rechartered the lands. So it's kind of mixed up everything, right? And it's very difficult for people to. We we see history as a truth. Unfortunately, it is not the truth. It is skewed, right? Uh, people have a habit of trusting media. They say they don't trust media, but if something happens in the world, where do they go? They go straight to the media. Absolutely. Um, it's kind of like these satellites, right? When they said that, uh, uh, you know, the satellite from China was coming over, and people thought they think that China is the only one with satellites, and they don't really get that we launch that same type of satellite every week. Right. And that's part of our telecommunications uh, system, so on and so forth. They don't see that part of what's real. Uh, so w- w- with all that being said, uh, sir, things are very deceitful. Right. Right. Land masses had different names in the ancient world. Right. Also, a lot of people don't know this, that East and West was reversed. And in a part of the Bible, uh, you have to take that under consideration as far as placement goes. Well, yeah. So, in other words, the world was we flipped upside. Down. We've already, we've already lost. Uh, we, we changed rotation. What, what, what do you mean? Yeah, they know that. They know we have uh, the Earth. Its uh, its rotation has not been consistently this way for all this time. They know that, but they're not going to tell that, right? And it's very difficult for anybody to come forward and say that. That's very difficult because there's you can't prove it because there's so many quote unquote experts, right? That right. would beg to differ, and it's not in 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 uh, in, in uh, today's uh, academia. It's just not there. So hard to tell. And by saying that though, CERN is based over something very ancient, right? CERN is also right. based over something that is more like a gate than anything else. CERN is trying to pull antimatter and all these different, they're, they're, they're causing what they call a big bang. But what they're really doing is trying to find these energy signatures uh, that they can lock onto so they will have a key to something. If they find that key, right, if, if they <laughs> locate and find that key, it's, you know, it's going to be game over. Well, but we know that's controlled by the Lord. And I personally believe, here's what I believe. Yeah. When the angel with the key to the bottomless pit, right? Yep. When he comes and and, and um, he opens up that pit, I believe that is the Lord saying, "Okay, now it's time." Yeah. Right? I yep. still believe that's under God's control, and He'll say, "Now it's time." And when they open up that pit, if you take note, those things that come out, they don't go after God's children. No, nope. they're not going after. They're going after people who don't have God. Amen. And they're going to torment them. And in fact, those those things that come out of the bottomless pit are not going to be able to touch us. So they're not going to waste their time with that. But they're going after everybody who does not have the seal of God in the foreheads. They're going after everybody who is, we're already sealed by the Holy Spirit through our faith in Christ, right? Um, a lot of, I know a lot of people, they talk about that seal. I'm not going to talk about that. That's a divisive subject. But I believe that we're sealed already by the faith, by our faith in Christ. For real, we're sealed right now. Amen. Or because if we weren't sealed right now, I know for a fact, we'd be dead right now. It's amazing you bring so this up. Sealed. You bring this up, you know, my book that's coming out, uh, Revelation 9-11, it's coming out next February, and it has certainly deals with this Apollyon character. It comes out of the bottomless pit, and it is an angel. You're right. It is an angel that, bring, that comes down. So God is in control of when Apollyon is released. And, and that angel that comes down with that key? He's with the warning. key. And when he, he's, he's from the Lord, and he opens yeah. it, and then all yeah. hell breaks loose. But it breaks loose yeah. on the uh, uh, those who don't have the seal of God in their forehead. Yes, and so right. you're, you know, Paul said we're sealed with, uh, with the Holy Spirit of promise. Okay, that, and, yeah. and and in, words, in other words, we're preserved. The word "sealed" is sort of like a right. pressure cooker. So you're right. I mean, this is going to be an event. God showed me in a dream. That's why I wrote the book. It's coming out. Is uh, that this event? is about to happen i mean actually in the dream the lord showed me that and said it's about to be released upon mankind